Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling Guys. You guys are watching On Wrestling, the premier YouTube show that focuses on SmackDown, Raw, 205, and many more. So, as you guys may know, I just got Venice watching Raw, and you know what? I'm just disappointed with the show because, like, here's my thing. Like, I'm okay with the AOP. Like, I was okay with the AOP and stuff and Seth, but... I still don't know what's going on with them. And it's always Kevin Owens. and just, Now, Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe want the AOP and Seth. And they got the security guards to escort them out of the building. And they did the same thing with AOP and Seth. And the funny thing is, the Buddy Murphy, the only thing that was good was the, Bernie, the Buddy Murphy match and the Buddy Murphy Alistair Black match, which their rivalry is still going strong, which I like. It's a good match. But here's my problem. If this is the last Raw of the day, like, here's the thing. You don't, you don't say this is the last Raw of the decade and emphasize the last Raw of the decade because it's really not. I don't like... I don't like... Here's my thing. I don't like when Raw does something. Because, okay, I'm okay with, like, I'm okay with a lot of things they do. But this is stupid. And you literally got... Because the more Joe going to beat up Seth, they're going to try to beat him up next week. Because I know what's going to happen next week. And here's my point. They literally don't know what to do. Again. And we're not even a month in. Like, we're literally a month away from Royal Rumble. And it should be focused on the Royal Rumble. But no, you know what? You know what, guys? Because I'll be honest. It shouldn't even be that big of a deal. But it is to them a certain way. It shouldn't be that big of a deal that they keep making more money. It shouldn't even be that big of a deal that they're trying to make more cash. But you know what? Here's my thing. You've got Charlotte doing the same promo. About her being the first woman in the woman of the decade. Ever since she beat Trish Pratt in the Survivor Series. And ever since. It's like, yo. We know, Charlotte. We get it. We know. Like, dude. Like, we know. We get it. This is the we get it part. Because I'm like, yo, we get it. We know. We understand what's going down. We get it. We see it in the back of our minds. Like, hey, you know. And I'm also mad that Randy Orton's injured. And he probably won't be in the Royal Rumble. I hate the fact that that Lana and Bobby Lashley crap is still going on. I hate that. Like I said, I don't hate it, but here's my problem. When are they going to end this, seg this segment? When are they going to end it? And I'm just like, yo, can we get something good? Can we? Hold on, guys. Like I said, can we? And this is the point. This Raw and Friday, this Friday SmackDown should be focused on the Royal Rumble. Because I don't like it, man. I don't like the fact they do this. I don't like the fact they're trying to make everybody care. I get that. See, <clears throat> I'm going to say this, guys. It wasn't even worth watching tonight. 
Because the people, we're, we're no closer. We're getting more questions than answers. And I feel like we are. And this is what I said about them losing viewers. Like, they're treating us like we're freaking marks. We're Eric Rowan's just beating a bunch of local competitors. He doesn't really have a storyline. Luke Harper's fired or gone or whatever. Again. But you know what? That's what I'm trying to tell you. At least with this week, like with AEW coming in and they're going to do some things and NXT's going to do some big things, I can see that. I can see that happening. I can see them wanting to do something. But really? Like here's, my, here's my thing. And I'm not going to make this a rant video because this is not a rant video. Because I give, I, give, I give Raw a D. I give it for I give it a D. It's not even that good. And surprisingly, I've caught up with all the Raws and stuff. Because they don't even like I said, Wrestling Observer was right. Brian was right, dude. He was right. The US titles treated like a joke. The cruiserweight people were treated like jokes. Buddy Murphy is the only guy that actually is treated with something and Charlotte Flair. And maybe Lana's actually treated as a woman and then she's treated as a joke. She's not even a wrestler. That's what's funny about it. And Bobby Lassie's in this dumb freaking story that doesn't make any kind of sense at all, but it's okay to put him in there. Like, I'm so tired of that shit. I'm tired of every time we, we get Bobby Lassley. This dude should have been champion already. No, they can't even book this dude strong. They never book him. You put him in a dumb story with Rusev and Lana. Nah, let's just throw that bag in the. Let's just throw that bag of tricks, right? Let's throw that bag of tricks in there. Then the funny thing is, when we have a champion, we can never get him to show up. Paul Heyman is not gonna show up for no apparent reason because he doesn't need to show up because Brock doesn't need to do it anymore. But Seth can go heel again, which we I've already seen him go heel, and I like the fact that he went heel, became a face, became Universal Champion, beat Brock Lesnar. Nah. This is the point I don't get. This is what I don't understand. I don't get the fact that every time, and every day, and every time they try to do something with it. Because like I said, I'm going to give Raw a D. The reason I'm giving it a D, guys, because the segment, because you know what? The segments were good, but they were boring. The only good match I think was really worth it was probably the Aleister Black and Buddy Murphy. I'm kind of, like I said, if you guys are a big Randy Orton fan, because I'm, I'm mad that Randy Orton's injured. I really want him to be in the Royal Rumble this year. Like, he's always been, because it's Randy Orton. Like I told one, everybody wants to do. See, everybody wants Raw to be so good. And that's my problem. It's the flagship show, and it's treated like it's a piece of shit. That's what annoys me. That freaking annoys my ass. Like, I don't get it, bro. And maybe I'm not supposed to get it. Maybe I'm not supposed to understand. Maybe I'm not supposed to get it yet. But what is going on, Vince? What are you doing? You're wrecking the show. Like, what are you doing? Because that's what happens with this every time. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping Wednesday is... I'm hoping to God. And I know NXT is going to be good. Because they're giving us three takeover shows. Plus the matches they're going to have that night. Plus energy. And then AEW is going to be good. Funny thing is, I can watch in the comfort of my new brand new TV. But you know what? I'm still freaking mad. Like I said, guys. I apologize if this is a long video. Because like I said... The segments weren't even worth the time with Raw. And this is what I don't understand, right? 
if the AOP and stuff are such a bad, if they're such bad dudes, why the heck are you beating up the two people that already, but that don't even have a story? Like, that's my question. Like, why are you beating up the two people? Why are you not in the following, oh, Rey Mysterio, or anybody else in the in the Raw roster, like the OC of some kind, to kind of start a brawl off? But not. But you know what? I can see, you know what? Raw would be good. To, Raw would have been good tonight if there was a little bit more segments. If there was the Street Profits, if they got involved, the War Raiders are going out to AOP and stuff, something will probably set something off next week. I don't really know. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.